the current fair market price for silver. Now, I know, Chris, you were talking about how don't look forward to a specific price for gold and silver, because really, if the dollar collapses, price with respect to dollars isn't going to actually mean anything. So I guess to rephrase the question, what do you think the fair market value of gold and silver would be with respect to other assets? Uh, we have a world where we're taking things that had nothing and exchanging them for stuff for, for real wealth. And it's a great scam if you're able to pull it off for a while because, uh, like the United States, we can con- continue to create nothing debt uh, and go out and buy the world's uh, goods. That's why we have a consumer society because we're able to uh, produce nothing, uh, give nothing for real things all over the world, whether it's you know oil, whether it's uh, chi- cheap Chinese goods, whether it's uh, you know BMWs. Uh, we're able to do that. But when you start to get your mind out of that mindset and say, okay, the dollar's not worth anything. Why am I measuring my wealth, my worth, uh, you know, all this stuff? Because it all it is is a future promise on wealth. That's what that's what dollars are today. They're they're not wealth itself. They're you're only a future promise on wealth that it's going to buy you something. Um, and when it doesn't, it's not worth anything. Um, and it's not real wealth itself because it doesn't do anything. You know, you can't do anything. Maybe burn it and it doesn't even burn very well. Um, so uh, I try to measure things in, in, in terms of uh, relations. So you look at the gold to silver ratio. It's at 1 to 72 now. I mean, that's obscene. It comes out of the ground at a 1 to 9 ratio. And I said in the video that if we had any sort of realistic market, and I, and I only think the 1 to 9 ratio is even a fair value for silver, um, that silver today – Today would have to be $128 an ounce, and and we're you know having shortages and sellouts at $15. You know, like if gold is somehow worth you know 1160, you know it, silver has to. I mean, and if there's just getting to the physical stuff in the on the ground has to be at $128 today. Um, and yet I've I've done so many videos talking about forget about the dollar, forget about the gold ratio. I talked about how. You know, a tenth of an ounce of silver is what a day's worth of hard human labor, like, you know, just above slave labor uh, throughout all of history. There's mentions in the Bible, the Sun Tzu art of war, uh, you know, industrial America, and even two thirds of the world today lives off of uh, two dollars, uh, you know, a day. That's that's about a tenth of an ounce of silver. Um, you know, I even did videos about how, uh, you know, the Louisiana Purchase. I mean, geez, they bought, you know, half the United States for, you know, I think eight acres for an ounce. I mean, that's, I don't think we're going to get to that level, but considering there's 8 billion arable acres of land in the world, and there's only about a billion ounces of physical silver in the world, you know, uh, you know, can we get to an ounce for an acre? I mean, that, that, that's a possibility. You know, if you have all the paper paradigm fall apart, you don't have uh, this Ponzi scheme of 30-year mortgages at 4%, you know, in this economy to, in, to let people buy and build, bid up. Uh, real estate up to these astronomical levels. I mean, hundred thousand dollars for an acre of you know nothing land. I mean, it's it's all got to fall apart. And when it does, those that have real wealth are going to be able to buy you know everything because there won't be anything else to measure against except for gold and silver. And I think silver is so undervalued to gold. I, I mean, I don't know why anybody even owns gold. 